Hey all, what's up? Welcome back to Rich Aesthetic. I'm Rich and today we're going to take a look at everything that's new with Apple Fitness coming later this year to iOS and iPadOS 17. Let's jump into this. All right, first off, probably by far my favorite of the new features are workout plans or pretty much just workout routines. Now, these are super customizable. On the first page, you start by selecting the days that you wanna work out, the amount of time you wanna work out for, and then how long you want the plan to last for. Now, don't worry, you can restart a plan after it is completed or like expired. I say expired because if you don't complete all the exercises, it, it, it doesn't like push your plan back. It just ends after say four weeks if that's what you have it set to. And then even choose which workouts it is that you want to do, like strength training followed by maybe kickboxing and then ending it with a meditation or cool down, for example. So I've gone ahead and done a Monday through Friday plan, about 60 minutes lasting for four weeks and then doing four activities, that being core, strength training, hit, and then a mindful cool down. And then it gives you a kind of an overview of what's going on every day. So on Monday here, we've got 30 minute strength training workout followed by a 20 minute core workout followed by a 10 minute mindful cool down. Now, if I hit the plus button, I can add any other type of activity that I want to add. Notice it's not asking you to choose the video. It's just asking you to choose the activity and the amount of time you want to do it for. So I'm going to do a 10 minute core no equipment and hit add. So now I've got another core workout added here. And then if I hit plus again, again, you can go through, change the activity this time. It'll only show you the ones you have selected as wanting to be done in the plan. But if you hit the view all, then you can select something new. So you can very highly customize what it is you wanna do with this plan. So I'm just gonna go back and hit cancel here. It's giving you an overview of what's going on every day. So Monday through Friday. And this is, again, this is not for all of the four weeks. This is just one week, but it's gonna be done every single week the same way, as in the amount of times in which workouts you have selected. The videos will be different. Now at the bottom here of the second page, you can choose which trainers it is that you want to do workouts from. I don't have a preference. I think they're all great, so I'm not going to choose any here. But for music, I do have one preference, and that is pretty much that I don't listen to country. So here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select everything. So I selected everything except for, of course, country. I wish there was like a select all, um, so I could more quickly just tap then three times on the three countries instead of having to tap on everything except for country. But anyways, that's probably just a me thing, not a everybody thing. Hit update, cool, now I can hit create plan. So the plan is here, you see it under your plan, you can tap on view plan. And then it'll show you all the workouts and the videos that you're gonna do every single day. And you'll see it starts tomorrow. That's why there's a green circle underneath the nine. Now that green circle will be filled in when I've completed all of the workouts. So if I only do the first one, it's not going to show as that day being completed. Now, when the plan is expired, like I said, or completed, it'll show up still all the way at the bottom of this Fitness Plus tab, under the custom plan section. So I'm gonna tap on that, and now you can see all the plans that I've had, plus my current one. The current one here says it's active, plus it's got the red colors on the circles there. For the other three, they're all blue, and it says they're completed, or that there are zero completions, because really I've just been messing around with it. I haven't done it a lot, because I am lazy at home workouts. That's the only excuse that I have, so <laughs> anyways. So it's kinda cool, it's even showing which week I am on of the four weeks and of course if it was a different length it would show that if for like a six week or a two week plan for example so. all right that's pretty much everything new with the custom plans i think this is super cool especially for those people who just want to be told what to do on every given on any given day based on their preferences now let's say you're more you know, you want more control. There's something else called stacks. Now, these are similar because like the plan, you can have a bunch of back-to-back -back workouts put into the stack. You do that super simply by, in the Fitness Plus tab, just tap and holding on a, one of the workouts that you wanna do. So for example, I'm gonna tap and hold on this strength workout here. Hit add to stack. 
And now up at the top right hand corner where you saw that two like square icon, there's a one and it's green. Tap on that, it'll show you your stack and pretty much what's up next if you hit let's go. So I only have the one workout right now. Now that's not what the point of this is. The point is to have a bunch of back-to-back -back workouts, just like the plan. So maybe I wanna start with a, a HIT workout actually as my real warm up, right? To get the cardio going. So I'm gonna to go to HIT. Gonna do a 10 minute HIT workout. I'll do it with Brian here, add that to the sack. Now remember, I added the strength one first, but I wanna do the hit first, super simple. Tap again on the stack button, and now I can just tap and hold and drag the hit workout on top of the strength workout. Again, this is super intuitive and totally easy to get set up and going. Now I'm gonna add two more workouts. I'm gonna do a core workout and then a mindful cool down. So let me go ahead and find those. Core, I'm gonna do 20 minutes. Now I have three, and then I wanted to do the mindful cooldown as well. So let me go ahead and find that. Awesome, we'll do a 10 minute mindful cooldown. So now you can see that's up there in my stack. Now, here's the cool thing. I can tap let's go, I'll do it, complete it. Super easy, hit those workouts back to back without having to go find the workout. We know where your heart rate is going down. You can just get right into it, get that workout done. But if you tap on those three dots up in the right hand corner of this stack view, you can actually save the stack. So if I want to save this as like, I don't know, like a, let's say that strength workout was an upper body one. I don't actually know if it is, I didn't check, but let's say it is, right? So I could do like upper body, right? And this would be like my typical workout routine, and, but it's upper body. So now I can go ahead and I can make another stack. You'll see it actually clears it. When you save one as a stack, it clears it out. It'll be at the bottom of your Fitness Plus tab, just like the custom plans were, but this time it's in the stack section. So I'm gonna tap on that. Cool, so I have that upper body one out. Now, the way I see stacks being used, again, if you wanna make a plan, but want more control on it, right? The other way I see this being used, you can make a couple of different upper body stacks, a couple of different lower body stacks, or you know, however you have it customized, some running days, some meditation days, some yoga days, whatever it is you want, and have a couple different variations of each, maybe your favorite videos or whatever. And then it's super simple, like, oh, today's upper body day. And then go to your stacks, like, okay, I'm gonna do my upper body variation one, or maybe my upper body variation three, for example. A lower body day, you go and do the same thing, but the opposite for lower body. So that's one way I see stacks being used. Leave a comment down <laughs> below though, if you have a different use for stacks or even custom plans. How do you plan on using it? Do you even plan on using it? or not. While you're down there, consider smashing that like button and subscribing to the video. It really means a lot. All right, let's move on to point number three, and those are trainer tips. Now, these are kind of cool. They're just little videos showing you how to do something like better is mostly what I've seen. So like how to swing your arms while running is one of the videos that I saw suggested. Also how to do some kind of yoga pose. Now I'm wondering if down the road, are they gonna add more videos that maybe can be more targeted? Cause mostly what I do when I work out with Apple Fitness Plus is uh, our strength workouts. So maybe it'll show me like how to get better mind muscle connection or how to hold the dumbbell when doing specific variations of bicep curls, for example. Those would be more the type of video that I'd actually watch. But also like, I don't know, like I, if I need tip or help with something, I just go to YouTube and search how to do something. Um, so I don't know if this is a feature I'll ever use, but maybe for some of you out there, you find those super helpful. And the trainers are super kind, of course. So maybe you're already super into the, the trainers that Apple has and just the Apple Fitness like ecosystem. Maybe you love everything there. So maybe that's where your go-to place for the information. All right, now my last new thing is just the sharing tab. So if you haven't caught on, with, with iOS 17, I feel like there's some kind of Apple social media-like thing happening where, you know, you, the Messages app has more stuff in line. You have the Journal app with suggestions of things you've been doing to share about. You have more share play experiences. And then here you have the sharing tab where it'll show you, you know, the status of your competitions, also workouts that your friends that you're connected with have been doing, and also awards that you or they may be winning. Now, that's all it's doing currently. You have to go to the Apple Fitness um, 
app to see that, but I'm wondering if maybe down the line in iOS 17 dot release or even in iOS 18, if maybe when you're like jumping into a message conversation with someone, if it'll show you like somehow in the messages app, like, hey, this person recently won an award. Do you want to congratulate them? You know, something like that. Um, because obviously there's a lot of friction to go to the Apple Fitness app and then to the sharing tab just to congratulate someone on something if you and, you know, your workout buddy are super into that, for example. And then the other thing is I'm wondering if anything from the sharing tab is going to be a part of the suggestions like framework that Apple has coming in iOS 17 for the journal app that's coming out later. Um, you know, if you win an award that day or if maybe your friend wins in a competition against you or you win a competition against a friend, is that going to be in the journal app? Like, hey, you lost your competition. Do you want to write about that? Or, hey, you won your competition by a landslide. Do you want to write about that? You know, I'm not sure if that's going to be a thing, but if it is, I'll definitely leave a comment pinned at the time of learning that on this video so that you are updated down below. And while I'm doing that, if you're going down there to check that comment, why don't you leave a comment on what you thought about the video and consider tapping that like button and subscribing. Again, it really means a lot and I hope you enjoy the video. Until the next one, by the way, the next video is on the stability of the beta. It'll be beta 5 for the developers at that point, beta 3 for the public testers. Um, just to let you guys know, any of you who are on the fence on as to how the beta is running and stuff like that. So until then, we're just setting out.